Soft shell. Hard shell. Teenage. Razorback. Bitey bitey chompy chompy. Tortoise. Mud. Tortoise shell. Ninjas. Snapping. Desert. Dragon. Box. Soup. Let's talk about turtles. Turtles are a rather interesting race addition for the D&D universe. They're a rather new addition, even from 3.5, there was really little to no information about them, but they did include a stat block. So they have existed, but they're still just, they're kind of weird. Like if you're really interested in being turtle or like you just really like turtles or you've grown up like I did with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I would have expected them to be something a little more prevalent than they have been today. So uh, the turtles, 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 back to the turtles. If you're interested in being a turtle, turtle in D&D, well, then you're in luck. There's a sweet little hidden gem here that you can pick up and, you know, turtle around with or turtle around with. It's a turtle race. I mean, you're going to just do something stupid with it. It's going to be great. They're exactly what you think they might be for a turtle race. They're super tough. They're long lived, long live, long, long lived, long lived desert, marsh, sea people, turtles. Maybe this would be a little more complicated than I originally thought. Stat-wise, they follow that super tough, long, jeveted, they get bonuses to their strength, they get bonuses to their wisdom, which make them really, really good to become those old Ugwe whippersnappers who, if you want to be a monk or a cleric, I mean, it's just, it's basically the kit is done. Like, that's it. Uh, did I mention that you can't wear armor? Because that could be a really big drawback for some clerics, but, I mean, if, if you decided to play like a monk tank that hides in their shell and you get a sweet bonus to your AC for doing that on top of a naturally really high armor class, uh, you can just kind of ride out the death of your party. Actually, that could work really well for the cleric. Cleric's back on the table. That's really the turtles in a nutshell. Super tough, slow in movement. Wait, did I say slow movement? Why is their movement 30? This is not hard. Seriously, for the they weigh 350 pounds on average and they stand five to six feet tall. I'm not sure if that's tail to tip or like snoot to foot. I'm definitely, that's not the saying at all. I'm feeling a bit like a broken record here. Wizards of the Coast, why do you keep making all of your creature races medium? Like this is a really unique opportunity for you to make a large size creature, but in a non-vertical direction. I would love to play a turtle whose large creature size is just mostly the junk they've packed into their caboose. If you get my drift. I mean, their shell. It's that shell, baby. Focus on the cool parts about the turtles, turtles bleh, that everyone loves. And I, and I don't mean the wicked ninja skills and the ability to eat pizza while doing sick tricks on a skateboard, because that's pretty tough. Prove me wrong. It's tough. Back to the shell. I want these things to take up the whole five foot space that you are in, like all of it. I really like the, the incorporation of the shell defenses, which is that plus four when you kind of tuck into your shell. I think that's a really fun way to go. You get advantages on your strength and constitution saving throws while you're doing that, but you're missing out on like the completely blocking of a doorway or letting people use you for cover or hell, having a gnome ride on your back and shoot a crossbow like a boss. Would a saddle even encumber a turtle? Hmm. Tortolan. Nope. That's, that's World of Warcraft. Total war harness. Patent pending. That's mine. Either way, though, that could be good in World of Warcraft, too. Anyway, so I was saying that Wizards is going the right way here with these guys, which is kind of a surprise. While I do think they still screwed up the medium-sized and the movement speed, they did also take into account that if you do pick a different type of turtle, like the Razorback archetype, then you get bonuses to your snap or extra attacks or your claw attacks do a little better. And that's something that I think is really good for, for this. I do want to make these guys tanky as shell, but there's always more that could be looked at. I, I feel like there should be a middle ground between the zero movement at plus four and the no bonus at full movement. I would honestly homebrew it and say that 20 feet is your maximum speed, but you are always considered to be in partial cover. I mean, you have, if you get shot in the back, I mean, do you really care? And I am aware that turtles do actually, the shells are part of their body and getting stabbed in the shell might might hurt them. So there should be a hardness setting to it. And I know that's more math, but sometimes you just have to deal with that or don't. I mean, I'm probably not your DM, so you know, do what you want. But if by chance you are one of the six normal players that I DM for, just deal with it. Math is fine. There are actually a few really cool homebrews out there for the turtles and the turtles and the other reptilian amphibian reptiles reptile races i saw a really cool one for the pathfinder system that is an augment augmentation of a kappa but i really think that should be a completely another episode that's a really cool monster that has a lot of lore to it and i think would be a really cool character to play but you could definitely use that as a base for for a to for a turtle getting back to the shell I really think that it's another great opportunity to incorporate things like war paint and magic runes. And uh, the critical role folks over there uh, had the right idea with, with turtles and tattoos, but that might have been a pirate thing. Either way, I think what they had going on with the turtle that they encountered. Crap, what was his name? That's going to bother me forever. 
Orly Skiffback. <clears throat> Found it. Bagpipes, really? Platinum Dragon. Uh, it was a really cool way to do it. And Matt Mercer, once again, my hat off to you. Great job. Either way, find some fun things you can do with characters that can't wear armor. I think it's an interesting challenge. I think it can be a fun way to play the game. And there are already a few things designed around monk characters and barbarians. If you pick a turtle to be one of those, you're going to be super tough. And that's great. And if you want to play a magic tank, you know, this might be your best option. More monsters, more players. Just get out there and have fun with it. The rule books are there to be guidelines. And even though these are really small and not very flushed out races, like just, you know, jump in, play around with it and see what you can do. If you really want to make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, go for it. Just make sure you check the GM about proficiency in skateboarding, because that's going to be essential. Very few skateboards are rated to 350 pounds. That is absolutely a thing. Go ahead and do your research. Google it right now. All right. I'll wait. Yeah, they max out at about like 250. What up? I know things that aren't D&D related. How about that? Bleep, 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 blah, 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 blah. Talkie talkie is not so good. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I had a lot of fun making this video, making this sketch. Uh, if you'll notice halfway through the video, I did have to do some major revisions. And that's always a great thing uh, that I love about the digital medium is that you can kind of pause, cut things up, change, like just very quickly and easily repair, change and, and augment things. So if you have any art questions or you have your own character art, I would love to see it. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I think you can even follow us on Reddit now. Uh, we did just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So thank you everybody for your support. Uh, I hope that I have, I've had a few people ask about turtles and I'm glad I could finally do this video. If I haven't gotten to your suggestion, I'm sorry. I will hopefully get around to them. I do still have a very long list of different things I want to do. I'd also like to start hitting some of the classes as well as a few of the just regular monsters. Like I talked about goblins as a race, but I might start talking about them as monsters. Uh, I'm DMing a lot of games throughout the week and I'm having a lot of fun exploring a lot of different new options. So your support is pivotal in that. Uh, go ahead and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to us now. Hit that little weird bell button if you want to keep track. I only read the videos every few weeks. So at the same time, just keep talking to the community. There's a lot of really great people out there and a lot of really cool character ideas. And I will talk to you next time. Remember to keep your dice on the table.